I want to check in on Alina Haba. You might remember her as Trump's lawyer. Failed to uh, win those cases. You might remember her as Trump's legal spokeswoman. Or, as she's most prominently known now, just sort of a MAGA influencer. So, we can check in on what she's been doing as an influencer. And interestingly, as I was searching for this Tucker Carlson clip that we covered in a different segment, where he compares Trump disciplining us, the left, and Trump's political opponents, as a father spanking a little girl. Because he's furious. And so he's going to, quote unquote, vigorous spanking is the action that's going to take place. And in searching for that, and then the story we did about the crowd chanting at Trump, Daddy Don, or I searched, I guess, on accident, Daddy Trump, and and what came up was a video of a Helena Hamba that I want to show you, and then we'll look at a couple of other things. But if you missed the Tucker Carlson saga, here's the context, then we'll get to Hamba. Children, they live in his house, but he's very disappointed in their behavior. And he's going to have to let them know. He's going to have to get to your room right now and think about what you did. And when dad gets home, you know what he says? You've been a bad girl. You've been a bad little girl and you're getting a vigorous spanking right now. And no. Tucker Carlson has been really growing very fast in the online space, surprisingly. So a lot of people are supporting and subscribing to Tucker Carlson. If you think that's not the type of person who should be getting uh, the uh, support of viewers and you think this show is a better way to get information delivered to you, please do click the subscribe button if you haven't yet. We crossed over 900,000 subscribers. I think we're already to like 908. You guys are incredible in a day. Let's charge to 1 million and do that before the election. Thank you so much. Back to Tucker Carlson. It's not going to hurt me more than it hurts you. No, it's not. I'm not going to lie. This is going to hurt you a lot more than it hurts me. And you earned this. You're getting a vigorous spanking because you've been a bad girl. So in the world of MAGA, that then inspires them to chant at Trump, Daddy's home and Daddy Don. And... I think so many people in that crowd, including Tucker Carlson, and I don't say this to mock, to ridicule, but they need to speak with someone. They need to, they need to sit down with a professional because that is strange. <laughs> to, to put Trump in that light, to put a politician in that light in your mind is, is troubling. And it's not just Tucker. It's not just the crowd at the Turning Point USA event. Apparently, it's Alina Haba and this golfer. So just so everybody has a little bit of understanding about how epic President Trump is, we're at one of his golf courses right now in Westchester for a charity for children with cancer called Curativity. We are so proud to be here. I am with one of the best golfers in the history of golf, the goat of golf, who loves Big Daddy Trump. I love Daddy Trump. Oh! Hey, I just got a great future behind me. That's all I got. We just love our country. We do love our country. We love our country! Vote Trump! Vote Trump. God bless the USA. God bless the USA. Why is that becoming a thing? Where did that come from? I'm so confused. No, 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 no. Ew, no. <laughs> what? Uh, okay. Now, speaking of Alina Haba, because I... I've now spent way too many minutes talking about this Daddy Trump gate. Um, instead, let's talk about a different subject. Alina Habba saying, you know, American politics has just gotten so impolite and people are so not respectful to one another anymore. So that's why we need Trump to be president. And I think America forgets that these are human beings. We've forgotten how to be polite. We've forgotten how to be respectful of different opinions. And I know that President Trump will get us back there. He really will. Really? I don't understand how you don't just bust out laughing whenever you say that. It's like trying to hire an arsonist to be a firefighter. It's not going to work, okay? That's a bad plan of attack. You're saying Trump's the guy who needs to come into American politics and really calm our tensions? Lower the temperature? I, f 
forget who it was. Oh, it was Melania Trump said in one of her interviews, you know, it's so crazy since 2016 when Trump got into politics, how divisive everything has become. But she was trying to blame the other side. Oh, crazy timeline there, Melania. Just It just so happens right when Trump got into politics and started insulting everyone and calls people the enemy from within and says that he wants to use the military on the enemy from within and calls his political opponents a vermin who need to be uprooted and says that people are poisoning the blood of the country. It's crazy that everyone's just so divided. But apparently, the problem is going to be the solution, and the divider is going to address the division. Get your head around that one. And then I know what you're thinking. Daddy Trump, Trump's going to address a division. It can't get any more crazy than that. Hold Alina's beer. So we can't be scared. You can't be scared. That's what they want. That's the machine, is to create fear. If you create fear, you will shut down. You will become oppressed. You will become censored and you will conform. Um, you cannot do that. The great people in the history of this country were the ones in this exact situation. The Trump situation, to be clear, the Trump situation. The machine uses fear so that people don't focus on their own oppression. That's apparently an argument in favor of Trump who fear mongers like no one I've ever seen before. And then she's about to make comparisons that will make you nauseous. That were the victims of this, but spoke up. Martin Luther King Jr., Nelson Mandela, people that had voices when they weren't supposed to, Rosa Parks. I mean, it could go on and on. People persecuted, prosecuted, and then they stepped up. Jesus. So where do you want to be in this world? Do you want to be insignificant and a follower? Or do you, or do you want to be freaking Jesus, baby? want to be a person that follows your morals and the fabric of who you are and were raised to be. You know, my parents fled from that, and I most certainly will not go down for doing what's right. What, what am I doing wrong exactly? <laughs> you know, what, what is it that bothers you so much that I do? I can tell you if you'd like. I represent President Trump. Yeah. I represent the go. Constitution, America. <laughs> oh. And I go on TV and I speak facts about what I see in court and what I see in our justice system. What bothers you so much about me? What makes you just all of a sudden get mad at me for doing nothing? I mean, is it me lying about sexual assault victims? Saying they're liars? No. I mean, why would you be mad at me for that? Is it me saying I represent the Constitution when I represent the guy who called for the termination of it? No. Why would it be that? Is it when I... <laughs> is it when I use my platform to perpetuate the idea that Trump equals Daddy, Jesus, Nelson Mandela, MLK? Why would it be that? I don't, I, I don't know what people are so mad at me about. It's kind of confusing. What a world. Please. Now I'm just begging. Okay, this isn't asking. This isn't calmly, level-headedly requesting. This is me begging. For the sake of all of our sanity, if you have not voted, get your rear end to the polls and please do so. Unless when you think of the word daddy, an orange man comes to your mind, then don't, you don't have to take this advice. You can, because I respect your right to vote, but you don't have to. But everyone else who finds this, what? please go vote, get your friends to vote. I've now been in a few conversations with people, reminding them of the importance of that. And we, we have the power to not have to hear from this movement, at least as prominently, as much, and as significantly after November 5th and whenever the results come out. So please make it happen. Let me know what you thought of this in the comments. Get the bonus show. We have just such a great time on the bonus show. I sort of let loose, take my tie off, um, and you should join us there by clicking the join button below.